Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm pretty sure you know him. His name is worth over one billion dollars. I'm pretty sure you know his fan base as well. I hear, oh, Sonic is dead and Sega sucks all the time now. Screw Attack voted Sonic 06 as the worst game of the decade for 2000 to 2010. And most of the people's arguments were that it was because it was not as good as 2D Sonic. So you're hating a game because of some outside factor? That's like hating Super Smash Bros. Brawl and thinking it to be the worst game of the decade because a certain website ruined it for you. Yes, people say that. When I was on Screw Attack, I finally, after Sonic winning the award, asked, why do people hate New Sonic? They said, the games suck. Well, one guy said that. Another guy said it was because it did not have the momentum that the other games had, meaning running fast despite all obstacles. Now, I'm going to admit it. I prefer Sonic in 3D. Seriously. As a side note, I said that on Screw Attack, including seriously, and someone still asked me if I was joking. Do I need to define what seriously means to them? I learned that in kindergarten. If you are asking if I am joking about this, I will block you. Anyway, one of the reasons I prefer 3D Sonic is this. You're running really fast, going through shuttle loops, and wham, you hit spikes on the wall and die. That happens a lot. Would you rather have that, or this? Okay, so anyway, I tried reasoning with them, because an opinion means nothing if you cannot argue it, or say why it is your opinion, and they denied me. They mostly talked about Sonic 06. I only played Sonic's first level of that game, but it was fun, especially the part where Sonic went fast. I also added to not tell me dying two times on the mock speed part was two times too many. I died two times, because everyone dies in video games. Guess what they said. But it is two times too many. I then sarcastically said I beat Mega Man or some other f game famous for difficulty on my first try. And guess who was made fun of? Me. Idiots in large numbers is scary, isn't it? I understood you cannot bat 1,000 in video games the same time I learned what seriously meant. In kindergarten. This isn't a rant about screw attack, though. So let's go on to other people. Like I said before, idiots in large numbers are scary. I never win an argument I am outnumbered on, no matter how flawed they are. For example, they told me Shadow the Hedgehog sucked because of the ratings it got. I told them that the, they were ignorant critics that made these reviews because I saw all of them and it made no sense to me. Oh, the controls are too loose. It does not take that long to get used to. Oh, it has guns. Don't pick them up. Besides, don't you love first person shooters? One more thing about Screw Attack. I know, I talk about it too much, but anyway. I asked why they thought Metroid was a better game than Shadow the Hedgehog, and they said, because it is. Before I go on, what is the definition of a fan? In my words, it means someone who likes something. These fans hate Sonic in 3D. Hate Sonic, Sonic fan. I saw someone on YouTube who was like this named Darkness the Curse, whose logic made no sense. He hates Sonic Riders and Shadow the Hedgehog because of loose controls. It says Sonic Riders Zero Gravity, a game that controls took longer for me to get used to than the first Sonic Riders, says, oh, it just takes time to get used to. It's the same thing, darn it. And the people that like some 3D games, don't get me started, they are all pretty much the same. The mainstream ones, anyway. Running, flying, gliding, shooting, that's all. So to like Sonic Adventure 1 and hate Sonic Adventure 2 is trivial. Now some of the other games, like Sonic 06, I could see people hating for glitches, and Sonic Unleashed for the Werehog, but if you like one of the following games but not the others, something is wrong with you because they are way too close. 
Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure 2, Sonic Heroes, and Shadow the Hedgehog. People say Sonic is dead, but he was in much deeper trouble than this before. Sega Master System, anyone? Sonic 2 on the Master System is one of my least favorite games of all time. Why? You could walk through some walls, rings were harder to get, the boss at each stage gave you no rings, one hit and you die, and how you couldn't fit into one area when you were underwater, and you drowned it. Second, Super Monkey Ball is in much more trouble. If you played Super Monkey Ball 1 and 2, good for you. They were awesome, weren't they? Inspired music, n nice stages, etc, etc. Then came Super Monkey Ball Adventure. Don't get me wrong, it's a single good it's a good single player game, but Monkey Ball is famous for its multiplayer, which was either lacking or terrible. No challenge mode for multiple people for one. And party games that weren't that great for multiple people. The only part that allowed multiplayer. Also, one time the game froze and the screen went half black with white text across it in single player mode. Then came Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz, which gave the game a more cartoony style and the ability to jump. Not to mention the party game selection. If they cut out Monkey Darts and Monkey Red Light, Green Light, and put Monkey Target in, no matter how bad it would be, it would still be better than these two games, I swear. Also, Sonic Unleashed sold 5 million copies. If you need help figuring out how much that is, count to it. Pause this video and count to 5 million. I'll wait. If you counted at the rate of a number per second, it would take, without resting, almost two months. If the series is dead, why is it selling so well? Are we done yet? Nope. There are people who complain about everything about Sonic. From his eye color to his voice. Many people have talked about this before. So I'll make it short. Big deal. Yeah, if Sonic sounded like you Martin Burke to to again, I'd see your anger. Right away. But Jason Griffith is okay. Finally, Sonic changing. People hate it, right? Imagine if every video game changed. Let's imagine Shigeru Miyamoto said, Oh, hey guys, let's put Mario in outer space. Sounds horrible, right? That idea became Super Mario Galaxy, one of the highest rated games of all time according to critics. What about putting Call of Duty in <gasps> modern times? I'm sure you know what came out of that. 20 million online gamers in Modern Warfare 2. If you disagreed with anything in this video, leave a comment, but argue your opinion. Did I say once in this video, the game sucked, or it was good, without saying why? Besides saying when four of the games were alike? Not really. One last thing. The same people who have been ranting, begging Sega to make a good 2D Sonic game, have boycotted Sonic 4. Why? Just because he looks different? Longer legs? I mean, I know it takes place before Sonic Adventure 1, but give me a break.